on Saturday morning. All right, son. How's your day been, Bradley? Everything been all right, son? You had a good day today? Uh, did you have a good day? I know you're breaking people's arms and stuff, but other than that, did you have a good day? Bradley. Brad Bradley. Bradley, don't go to son. Listen to me, boy. Hey. Oh, sorry. I'm trying Dad. to get your attention. Sorry. I don't know what came over me. But Dad, uh, Uncle got me got me a new gun. So now we can go hunting. What isn't it great? What? No. No, put that down. No firearms. What is it? What have I been teaching you, son? What in the world? What? No firearms at all. Put that that put it down. Put it down right no, now. It's mine. It he gave it to me. It's mine. I said to put it down. I am superior to you. It is mine. You're superior? No, hold up. You come in with me, boy. Here. Come over here right now. Let's get, get your butt over here right now. You hear me talking to you, boy. Get but Bradley. Bradley, but boy, hey! Get your tail back over here, boy. I swear, where is my belt? Where is my belt? I'm not gonna use it because I'm gonna put you in timeout, but I swear I'm gonna find my belt and put on my pants so that I can send you to timeout because this is some craziness right here. You are tripping, son, and I don't know what the heck is the problem, but I'm gonna tell you something. When I see you again, the out is gonna be time. What? What did you see me do that? Oh. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, bro. I don't. Keep the gun, bro. Go. Keep the gun. Oh, I'm nope. superior to you. What? In ah! 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 All right, let me put these glasses. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> well, I put my glasses back on so we can continue the show now that I have my brain back. We, of course, are talking about the brand new hit movie, Bright Burn. Uh, Bright Burn, of course, is the story basically of Superman. But what if everything went wrong? What if instead of Clark Kent? showed up in, in, in order to save everyone? What if Clark Kent showed up as Bradley, something else, and killed everybody? <laughs> we saw this movie on my birthday, uh, 29 another time, and I can't wait to talk about it. So let's go ahead and get to Chuck. Uh, Chuck, what were your thoughts on Brightburn? First off, I can't breathe in this thing. Ugh. Why would he pick that as a mask? I'm so hot. <sighs> but yeah, uh, let me get let me get free really quick. It is summertime. I ain't about to die. But Brightburn, oh man, we can do it. this. This is not a spoiler, right? Because I can. This movie was was great. Yeah, not no non spoiler it first. Non spoiler. It. All right, all right. For non spoilers, um, I think they definitely hit the ball out the park with uh, giving you. Well, with this type of film, with having uh, that, I kind of it's like a what if film. If, you know, Superman was evil, um, so you definitely get a new respect out of Superman. If you didn't like Superman before, you may fear him now because this movie will give you chills. <laughs> right. The little boy that plays Bradley does his works his tail off. He is so creepy. I was like, oh gosh, in the movie, like he, he his facial expressions. I mean, a lot of times he didn't even say a word, but you felt how intense he was. When he looked at you, I'm like, that's a scary little boy. So mm -hmm. him as an actor already just kind of freaked me out. But the movie, um, the story to me, I thought worked really well. It really put you in pretty hard um, positions as parents, thinking as parents, what would you do if, you know, somebody that you love end up being a monster? Could you, would you be able to put that monster down? Or would you be able to, you know... Uh, you know, turn your back on that particular person. So it, it brought us a, it brought a lot of, you know, real life experience on how people deal with situations mm -hmm. with people, you know, changing and, and maybe going down a, a bad path and kind of how you would have to, uh, 
you know make those decisions um, as a mm-hmm. you know as a parent. But brought uh, some uh, I thought, some I real life murder too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some pretty, some yeah. You're right. But I thought the graphics were they worked really well. Um, it was nothing that looked cheesy on it. He definitely, um, you know, they definitely. It definitely was a rated R movie. You're gonna see a lot of gore and a lot of uh cringing. A lot of cringing happened at the theaters when we watched this movie. So there are some parts like, oh my god, ah, ah, no. <laughs> yeah. I remember that a few times uh, watching this movie. But I really enjoyed myself. Um, it did have a lot of scary points. I felt myself jumping. Definitely go see it at a theater. You know, it's not gonna be the same if you watch it if you watch it at home. Like, no, but uh, I don't know why people watch horror movies at home. But definitely go out there to the theater, get you some popcorn, and enjoy the movie. It starts off great, not too slow. Pacing is great on it, so I enjoyed it. What about you? Oh man, um, you know, you know, I'm not really into horror movies really that much because horror movies don't scare me. Like I watch them. It's just like, okay, that happened. Why are you doing stupid stuff? Oh, you went into that room. Why did you go into that room? This movie was none of that. <laughs> this movie was amazing. Like, everybody pretty much made good decisions. I mean, there was some questionable parenting from time to time. Some of the decisions that they made with parents, well, like, okay, maybe I wouldn't have done that. I probably would talk to him about this <laughs> and not just let it go. But, um, yeah. man, this movie was amazing. We were so it was it was uh, myself and Charlie and his wife D, and we were yelling multiple times. Oh, oh, yeah, it was oh. so many times. Yes, so many times during this movie. Oh, oh. <laughs> this movie is like a roller coaster, man. It is so much fun, and we could not stop talking about it after the movie was over. As a matter of fact, we loved the movie so much, we talked about it so much that um, after that, we met another one of my friends and, and his young daughter um, at the ale house that night to continue to celebrate my birthday. And um, we were scared of the little girl. <laughs> she was drawing pictures and drawing costumes. Drawing and like, crazy oh. pictures and stuff. I'm like, what right. in the world right. is she doing over there, Shot? Yeah, exactly. We like, uh, as she left, we just, Kayla, remember that we love you, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm, we're just, friends, right? Yeah. We're friends. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So go see this movie. This this was probably the best weekend of movies I've ever experienced. With having Aladdin on Friday and Brightburn on Saturday, it's great. It was great, man. I, I really loved it. So go see this movie. Um, I don't know if it'll, it'll it'll probably scare a lot of people. If you don't scare easily like me, I think you enjoy it just because you'll be thrilled. Okay. So that was our non spoiler review of Brightburn. So now let's get into the nitty gritty and we're gonna talk about this movie. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Chuck. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, this this movie I did not know what to expect. Um I never been a Superman fan um, because he was just like he seems like he's too powerful. So kind of seeing it from a kid and a I guess it reminded me of like, okay, what would happen if like Goku, like when if he didn't hit his head, this is kind of what would happen. He'd just kill everybody. And and the same with the Superman, it wasn't raised by good parents. He would probably be evil like this child. And his parents were not mm-hmm. good. <laughs> but I guess just to kind of get back into the movie, um, seeing, uh, I, I thought all the characters did a great job. It was no weak characters in the movie. Even the side characters, everybody, um, so very good emotion. Um, the family, um, the family, I would say, really made a lot of tough decisions because, like, looking at it, you're like, okay, well, if my kid was evil, I'd just go ahead and kill him, right? No, you wouldn't kill your kid. You love your kid. You <laughs> nurtured your child forever. And it makes some tough decisions. Like, right, it gets right into it. Like, you see him, he's a good kid. Like, right, I think he what, turns 11 on it. It was 11. How old did he turn? 13? Somewhere he has, like a, birthday. he has a birthday. Right at that birthday, you start seeing him turn. Like uh, the uncle gives him a, a present and it's a gun, and the dad's like, "No, no guns, no guns." Try to take the gun. We kind of did a little, you know, a little reenactment earlier that earlier, and mm-hmm. the boy's like, "No, it's mine." And it's like, "Oh, okay." And then he's just like, 
at he's making a scene at the restaurant. The dad and I'm like, we're leaving now. And like from that point on, he's like, he started understanding. Okay, I'm somebody. I'm different. I'm a different kind of person. I can do stuff. He sticks his hand into the freaking um, lawnmower. I'm like, mm-hmm. what well, kid goes to go stick their hand in the lawnmower? Like after he he couldn't get it open, he throws the lawnmower. And like he's like. Let me just stick my hand in there. I'm like, nah. I told Rashad this at the most. Like, it'd be funny if his hand got chopped off. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> He's like, ah. That's, that's how you, right? That's how you turn evil. Ah, my hand. He's like, vision. He's vision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I just like how I like how he played his character so good. Like he was so creepy. He was just a creep. Like he was so smart. And he was and he was so good at one part of the movie and then he just turned creepy and just like kind of sinister um even when mm-hmm. he went to go his dad had told him it was a quick little part his dad told him like you know when they were trying to talk about birds and bees talking about you know sometimes you know if you like girl let let that out let them know that type of thing and he was like so i can do that right now he was like no not right now and then like the next night he just flies up to the girl's room and like in her room in the middle of the night and opening up her computer to some song i'm like okay that's creepy as hell like, right. yeah. I'm like, oh, girl, I felt so bad for her the whole movie. She gets a hand smashed up. Oh, dude, like he just does not take rejection well with her. And uh, her poor mama, gosh, she, yeah, that was the wrong. That was the wrong kid to yell at for that mama. Yeah, because she did not make it. She she made some really cringy parts, especially with that glass. That glass thing. I think that glass scene was our longest cringy moment. Because yes. like, the glass went into the girl's her eye, and she like took forever to pull that junk out. It was long. Just like, ah. I'm like, yes. oh, it's so nasty. And they just kept you on it the whole time. It felt like a saw almost a little bit. Yeah. It definitely had the saw it, aspect. It was long enough for you like to. It was long enough for like you to look away. Yeah, and you look back. And come and back. It's still do it. Still there. <laughs> it oh, 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 oh. I'm like, who pulls that type of stuff out your eye? Now you know. So. I, <laughs> It was just, it was just good, man. I, I mean, they like seeing what Superman could do to a person with his powers, like when he like just blasting his head, people's heads open, and you know, really just ripping people apart, um, was was crazy. I think, I think last thing I'm gonna talk about was the last one of my favorite scenes was with the uncle, and the uncle's driving, <laughs> he, he gets the uncle's drunk, and he comes and he's like, uh telling um the boy kind of scares him because he's in the house um because first of all the boy doesn't want his parents to know that he's evil so he's in the house of the aunt about to kill her but the but the but the dad but the uncle comes home so he he comes in and he's like you scared me i'm taking you home right now he takes him home he's like are you gonna tell my parents he's like of course i'm gonna tell your parents and then the little boy like puts that mask on throws him and he just like takes off running but the, the i guess the craziest thing was like when he made the car crash oh dude is like he's like trying to get the car to start and the lights pop on and the little boy is with it he has this little, where's the little mask i don't know where's that he has masks going over there and he's like oh oh no oh no not today not today i was like he went straight black moment right there that uncle yeah. said i would love that scene and dude pick comes over and picks him up drops him and you think that you think he's alive well i think he might live but then you see his whole jaw just fall out of his mouth. And, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, his jaw just came off. And his blood everywhere. I was like, oh, I'm too thrilled with this movie. But I enjoyed it. I definitely will go see another one. They look like they were going to do like some type of horror universe with these superheroes. So the James Gunn family, the Gunn family is doing their thing. And I can't wait to watch the next ones. This was a, a great movie to me. Very thrilling. Oh uh, yes, man. I, I'll pick. I'll pick back on that as well. Yes, this movie. This is definitely the. Um, oh yeah. With, oh, who did you type that Chuck just now? Or oh, is that Danny? The uncle straight uh, abandoned his wife. <laughs> yes. He yes, he did. <laughs> he was like, "Oh shoot!" After he pushed him, he was like, "All right, I'm out of here." <laughs> I can't crazy. After he got thrown across the garage, he didn't even ask any questions. He didn't. He wasn't even like, "What? What just happened?" Like he didn't. No, he just got up, got in the car, and drove off <laughs> with his wife in the bed. Yes, <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh man, uh, this might be this. No, it's no might be about it. This is definitely my favorite horror movie of all time. Like this movie, 
<laughs> it's great. It's so many thrills in this movie, and I love how this movie didn't take any time to go down the path of the of the little boy becoming a bad guy. Like it was a couple minutes, and then boom, he's a bad guy <laughs> for the rest of the movie. You know, uh, and there's so many great scenes. I hate to give them away, you know, but I'm going to. <laughs> so this is the spoiler review again. Spoiler review: the hand smashing scene. <laughs> that was great. He didn't just he didn't just smash that girl's hand. He smashed it. The glass in the eye scene. Oh God, it was horrible. It was so long. Like the whole scene is like a whole minute long or longer. Gosh. And and I like the fact that um they actually had something happening with glass. Like we just watched John Wick and he's going through like fifteen things of glass. And I'm like, yeah, like glass is bad. Like yeah, like if you were <laughs> if you're at your place and you have a drink. Of made of glass and you drop it, that's a really bad thing. That's a problem. But other movies, <laughs> they just go through glass like it's no problem. You know, like, no, no problem. that's a problem. And we see how much of a problem it is. Um, yeah, the FU smashing scene, like Chuck mentioned, that was probably the funniest scene in the whole movie. Like Chuck said, yeah, so he went, oh no, oh, no, 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 not today. Nope, nope. Yeah. nope. I'm, let me tell you how black he got. He got TSA and get out black. <laughs> oh, man. Nope. Yeah. Oh my God. Sizzling the day, the dad's brain, like I tried to uh, represent earlier. Woo! Sneak attacking the sheriff, dropping the mom from the sky. Oh gosh. I thought the yeah. sheriff part was to me that was like, come on, sheriff. Like he's a, we got him, we got him. Like how do you got him? Like, but they no. didn't see. He's, they didn't, they, did they see him? I don't think the sheriff saw him at that point. No, they didn't see him then. But I'm saying, like, you saw what he did to that to that freaking hand of the girl, and then to the to the to the car to the truck. Like, you just thought he just, I mean, like, laid a trap out for him. I guess they didn't think he was like super strong or something. Yeah, they didn't. Uh, you know, he didn't have any reason to believe that he was Thanos. <laughs> and that and that uh that other sheriff that was with him. Oh, she got it so bad. She got it so bad. Oh, he was over just slamming that. He was doing the Hulk and Loki to her. Yeah, the house. I'm like, oh, this is scary. Like, this is so bad. <laughs> yeah. it's so bad. Oh god! And there's one scene where he's like straight destroying the house, and while he's doing that, they keep flashing to pictures that they have in the house of him and his parents. I was like, gosh, that directing that is so great because it's such a contrast between where he came from and where he is now. It's an amazing movie. Um, I don't really know if I have any dislikes about it. Um, I mean, I know I couldn't live on a farm miles away from other people, <laughs> particularly if I heard some noises outside. Like, I want to live in a neighborhood where if I hear noises outside, I know it's people. <laughs> okay, I'm about to get robbed. Okay, I know what's happening. <laughs> I understand that. But being out in the middle of the woods, I don't know. I, am I getting robbed? Is it is it bears? I don't know what this is, you know. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of dumb decisions in this movie. The only only dumb decisions were the parents not talking to each yeah. other. That was that it's was not communicating. Like yeah. him, sleep. yeah. Because they start off like she starts off the movie early, not communicating. I'm like, bro, he y'all know he yeah. is an alien, right? Like I right. know he looked like a human, but I'm like, I do know he. I got him out of a spaceship in the woods, so <laughs> he might right. start doing some weird stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm like. She was just too. I mean, the more she was like, this the is more to Jesus, the Jesus sent me a baby. <laughs> yeah, right. He sent you a demon. <laughs> the more to this story for all husband and wife teams or whatever team that you have, communicate with each other. Because if they had done that, they probably would have still been killed. But at least. <laughs> Well, there was one thing. There was one time they would have been killed. But yeah, the mom she doesn't tell him that he's looking for the thing, you know. But the 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 dad doesn't tell the mom about him chewing the fork. The um the mom doesn't tell the dad about him telling that the boy could fly. But the number one problem, number one dumb decision, communicate with each other. She does not tell the dad that the ship can cut him. Yeah, that's to me that was the. If she would have told him that, it, they would have won. Because the dad had him in the woods. He, mm. able, he was able to get a shot off. This is a spoiler review, so make sure y'all do know that. I'm telling you the whole movie. 
So when the dad takes him to the hunt, I'm like, if he had made a bullet out of that uh, metal or just got like a pellet gun or something, broke some pieces off, put it in his gun, what problem solved? Boy, head blown yeah. off, make, make some cover up, and he's, he's out the way. You know, nobody has to die. But nobody else has to die. So, you know. <laughs> but but now, nah, them not communicating that, you know, I was, it's like, God, that was stupid. Stupid. So it communicate so with you. Communicate with your spouse. All right. Anything else to be said about this movie, Chuck? No, nah, man. I thought I thought we did a. I thought it was a great movie. Definitely go check it out. Um, check it out in theaters. If you do wait for it to come out, make sure you got a good surround sound system. Watch it at night. Uh, you know, get it prepared for. It. Don't watch it like on your phone or like at, at you no know, daylight. You know, get yourself prepared so you feel get the full effect of the of the horror type of movies and the thrilling mm-hmm. movies. So, I definitely want to say to make it a good experience. I don't want to do like look at it like you just passing by. You know, it's just on TV. So it wasn't scary, but nothing scary that way. So, you know how it is. But yeah, everything else is good. Nice. All right. Well, if you like what we did, make sure to uh, give us a like. Make sure to go check this movie out in the theaters. As usual, oh, make sure to leave a comment. As usual, you got to subscribe, subscribe to survive. This is Color Commentary, where we are superior. Peace. One Saturday morning.